won't you say Say my name, say my name If you all alone, then it ain't nothing You been acting all shady But trust me, girl, you're mine Scared to come on here now. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my freaking channel. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you take the time right now to go and subscribe. Like right now. Like right now. So I haven't done any like in car conversations in a long time. Um, I used to do them all the time when I started my YouTube channel. I used to just sit outside and have real conversations about real life stuff that I've even gone I've gone through or I feel like people can relate to so I haven't been in the car to talk about anything but we're about to have a conversation um so recently my mom just found out about my youtube channel am I upset about it no am I mad no was I trying to hide it no um but it's a lot that plays a part into why I probably never wanted her to know I had a YouTube until it got where it needed to be. One, personally, um, I created my YouTube channel for me. It wasn't for the satisfaction of nobody else. It was truly created for me to show my authentic true self and speak on real topics. And I knew putting my YouTube channel out and I knew how I was, it would gravitate towards a lot of people. People would really relate to a lot of the things that I'm talking about. And I just feel like there's not a lot of YouTubers who just discuss real, 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 real life topics. I was talking about issues I had with my dad. I was talking about when I got in my car wreck. I was talking about when I was going through my depression phase. I talked about a whole lot of stuff. Um, I talked about just things that people probably thought about me and weren't true. I talk about a whole lot of stuff on my YouTube. I also show a whole lot of stuff on my YouTube. Um, but anyway, she found out about my YouTube channel, which, you know, I personally now really don't, um, I won't say don't care, but. I really wanted my YouTube to get to a place where she would understand, like, okay, or just my family, period, would understand. I don't have to live my life for nobody. I'm not living my life for nobody. When I was younger, I grew up in the church. I'm still, I have a super close, close relationship with God. And even the people that watch my YouTube channel, they even know that. Um... Am I getting emotional? Like, what the hell? Uh-uh. <laughs> no, but um, my YouTube channel was created for me. But like I was saying, um, I still have a really close relationship with God. I was raised in the church. Um, I was really sheltered. I couldn't really do a lot. I couldn't go stay at my friend's house. I couldn't go kick it over here. I couldn't go to this. I couldn't be out at a certain time. I had to check in. I had this. I had that. I, you know, so when you have so many rules, oh, I freaking hate. <laughs> oh, God. When you have so many rules and you're held to a certain standard daily, day in and day out. Being your true self is hard. Well, being your, me being my true self then was very hard. God dang. Wait a minute. Anywho, I couldn't do a lot of things and I couldn't be who I truly was because I was so boxed in. I had so many rules. And. Um, even down to the things that I wore I couldn't express myself in a lot of the work clothes that I wanted to wear just a lot and so um, even though I was a rebel <laughs> I was a rebel I used to try to you know do what I want to do whatever whatever but I still 
had rules and consequences to the things that I didn't do. I just felt like then when I was home before I left off the college, I was one way. And that's because, like I said, I was boxed in. When I left to go to college, I literally, my first year, I really didn't know who, like who I was. And I talked about this before. I was like, cool with a group of people, so I'm trying to keep up with them. And then, you know, I wasn't being me and who I really was. So I actually had to sit down and just regroup, tell myself, like, this is not who you are, and be who you are. Find you. Be you. When you find you, be you. I speak about this all the time. My YouTube was created for people to be them, to show that you can be you. <laughs> this topic is super, like, deep because I'm tired. That's that I'm tired of people in general because I'm not who you grew up with or because I'm not who you remember me as or because I'm not this because I'm not that I have to grow <laughs> I literally have to grow I'm not going to be who I was when I was 13, 16, 18 I'm freaking 23 years old I'm living my life I'm 23, I'm in my 20s I'm living I'm doing stuff for me because I'm not doing it how you think I should do it. I'm not doing it your way. I'm not, doing, but whatever it has nothing to do with you. If you don't like what I post, if you don't like my YouTube, if you don't like who I am, if you don't like, if you don't like me, period, I don't care. Like move on to the next channel, move on to the next page, move on to the next Instagram, the next Twitter. I'm tired of y'all. Like, <laughs> I'm really like, I've had it up to here. This is just for anybody. I am me. I am who I am. I want everybody to be who they are. And I speak about this daily, even on my Twitter, my Instagram. Be you. It's only one you. And do things your way. Just because you're not doing stuff how other people think you should do it. Just because you're not a doctor, you're not a lawyer, you're not going to get your master's degree, you're not going to college, you're not doing... It's so much stuff out here to do, to make money, to um, to live. So much stuff you can do. You don't owe nobody no explanation for nothing that you want to do. So be you, be true, stay true to you. I'm going to always stay true to me. I'm just putting this message out there. I don't care if you don't like me. I am me for a reason. I am 23 years old. I have found myself. I have found my peace. I have found my happiness. I have found everything. I'm still working towards trying to be where I want to be at in life. I'm still working toward just like anybody else. I'm not all the way where I want to be. I just made a video like a month ago about not being where I want to be, but I'm working towards be where I want to be. I'm not where I used to be at. I'm not depressed. I'm not sad. I'm not trying to figure myself out anymore. I know who I am. I dance. <laughs> I twerk. I have fun. I drink. I cuss. I'm wild. I'm crazy. I'm fun. I'm outgoing. I'm unapologetically me. I do not degrade myself in any way. I'm not just out here just doing crazy things. I'm not harming nobody. I'm not hurting nobody. I'm not telling nobody the wrong things. I'm not doing none of that. So, I'm making money. I moved into a house. About to work on getting a car. It's just... I'm doing a lot and I just want people to understand that I'm me. You can accept me for who I am or you can move on. Simple. And I hope whoever's watching this 
gets that in their head and their skull and their temple deep down in their soul put it to the bottom of their heart and their feet i just hope they feel it because of me and i'm not changing for nobody i'm not leaving this earth not being satisfied with who i have become or who i am not not for the not for the satisfaction of nobody not doing it but yeah that's really all i wanted to, to to discuss to talk about to bring up that's the in car in conversation for today be yourself stay true to yourself it doesn't matter what other people think you don't